Good morning. Good morning. Um, never try new technology <laughs> live. It's wonderful, isn't it? How things don't always go the way we want them to go, whether it's in our lives, in the lives of the people around us, perhaps in our nation. Things are never quite the way we want. And so it was for the people waiting for Jesus to come. There was a long time of preparation. There were lots of prophecies. Today we're thinking a bit about about preparation. We're thinking of of Isaiah that was read to us and of uh, the story of the early part of John the Baptist. Um, But I'm going to read another verse from Isaiah, from chapter 40, verse 3. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed. And all people will see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. And that's what matters. We all speak. Sometimes we make about much sense as Kessie does at, at this present moment. Uh, sometimes we make a little more, but not much. But God always makes sense. And when God does make a promise, he always keeps it. We're going to light the candle that um, reminds us of that, of that light that shines in the darkness, of that one that would be sent to prepare the way for the coming of Jesus. We're getting prepared. You'll see there are some, um, what should I call them, baubles, decorations on the tray. Thank you for those that are brought. And each week, the tree will get a little bit more decorated because it's not Christmas yet. It's not Christmas until Christmas Eve. Forget the 1st of December or even the first Sunday in Advent. It's Advent, not Christmas. Why? Because we wait. The people waited 400 years between Malachi speaking and the coming of Jesus. We can wait 30 days to celebrate the coming of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we wait. Sometimes in life we wait and we don't want to wait. Most of the time we don't want to wait. But we pray that you'd help us as we wait to know the wonder of waiting, to know the wonder of preparing our hearts and minds to welcome Jesus once more. 